everybody, Camper Van Kevin. Well today, I'm down at the Oconee National Forest off Highway 15, just south of uh, Athens, uh, Watkinsville. Um, I've camped here before. Uh, this time, uh, Felix come with me. Um, and we have met the neatest neighbors here camping and I want to introduce you to uh, John and Nancy and their homemade camping rig. This campground I believe it has five campsites available. Felix just has left to go to the store but um, it's a circle. It's a circle drive here. It comes around and then the river is right down here on the bottom side. You take your boat out huge catfish down there that uh, I fished down there with my buddy down at Skull Shoals and we've pulled some really big catfish out of the water. But uh, we've got the B BT Cruiser down there and me and Felix are sharing a campsite. He'll be back shortly. But let me show you John and Nancy's rig here. John and Nancy pull with their 2013 Toyota Tacoma. Um, they're from Kentucky. They've been out traveling now for about four months full time. Uh, John and Nancy, they told me that they're getting about 15 miles per gallon. Here's Nancy right here. Hey, Miss Nancy. Hi. Hi. Uh, you mind if we take a look at your rig today? No, go right ahead. Good deal. John's up here, he's tending to the fire. Um, they, uh, they run everything off solar. They got this kit at Harbor Freight. Uh, currently they've got one battery that they're charging. That runs everything you've got here? Yes. All right. Now this is a very unique unit. This is home built. Um, they told me they had about $500 in material. So, uh, you know, it doesn't take a lot of money to get out here and to have a, a good, solid, dependable unit that you can travel with and live in. And here's a, a perfect example of what you can do with just a little bit of elbow grease and ingenuity, right? I'm going to walk around the outside here. The first thing that kind of grabs your attention is the exterior. This is a tarp or tent? This is a military grade tarp that he's covered the entire outside with and has made it entirely waterproof, completely waterproof, no leaks whatsoever. Uh, Miss Nancy has some uh, before and after pictures, well, build pictures on her phone. She's gonna show us here in a second. What is this, four by eight? Yeah. It is four by eight. And John's a tall guy like me and uh, him and Nancy fit perfect in here. They've got their portable enclosure right here for their shower and toilet. Got a good little fire going on. Let me introduce you here to John. How you doing? Good to meet you, sir. Thank you. He's, uh, he's the builder and creator mm -hmm. of the... Uh, Box. Is that what you call it? <laughs> it's called Just Tripping. Just Tripping. What inspired you guys to build this? We were sitting at home watching TV so people online and YouTube, like yourself, getting out and seeing places and doing things, and we didn't want to sit in front of the TV home and, and get old and, and, and wait for a phone call from the kids, so we run away from home. That's what we did. So we built this and decided to give it a try, and we're having a blast. Good deal. So a lot of people might have went and bought a, an RV. You're obviously kind of handy, and you had an idea why did you guys do this? Money. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have the money to go. They want so much money for the little teardrops and things. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. But. Five to ten thousand? Too much. Too much. And if you got, you know, if you've done anything, you got any kind of construction in your head, mm -hmm. put something like this together. We just decided to go out to a company on a Sunday and look and see what kind of packing crates they threw away and found one that fit. And uh, from there, we went to adding two bars and the, and the insulation and the foam and 
went to army surplus to get the stuff for the outside and the next thing we want it to look a little rugged instead of a little like a tourist with his sandals and his socks up to here you know mm -hmm. so it turned out really good we're, we're really happy with it miss nancy can we see those before and after pictures on your phone <clears throat> We're talking and Felix is coming in with his new exhaust. He's mighty proud of it. Doesn't that sound good? Oh yeah. He's gone to Oh that sounds good. Alright, let's see what you got here. Okay, this is what we started with. This is the packing crate that John spoke of. Yep. We put a new floor down on our trailer. Is this, is this trailer from Harbor Freight? No. We bought it at a yard sale, so... There you go. And then there we put the insulation on the roof. And then we put a window in it and the blue insulation up. And that was the outside before we got started. And there's the blue insulation. The foam board? Yes, and that's the packing crate bottom. Amazing. And then we got the green on. And then we put wood up. And we put a door in and put plastic on the roof. Insulated that really well. Key is insulation. So this was a project you both, you, you helped? I helped, yes. Good deal. And we got it all together. And those are two packing crates that he cut in half and put together in the back. And that piece there we put on the top to make a little shelf up here. And... We put our fridge and I tried to toll it in there but it didn't work so I bought the little tent and I used it outside. Mm -hmm. And there it is together in the back before we covered it. My little shelf up there. You've been out for four months. Then we put the, the, the tent on the top after we put all the insulation and got all that together. Yep, and that's it. That's awesome. So let's go back and take a look around. Miss Nancy said, uh, it, uh, we're welcome to take a look at the inside. Very cozy. Let's hope the camera picks up well in here. They've been camping for full timing now for four months. And I believe they might be headed out to Quartzsite to the RTR. We've been talking about that. So there sits the little refrigerator back there. We got our 12 volt fan. We got a 12 volt fan. Awesome, everything that you need, nothing that you don't. He's a tall guy, he fits in here. Y'all must like each other. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus we had the dog too, so. We have what's, sand powder. what's your dog's name? Powder. Now we may get barked at, let's see if we can see Miss Powder here. Yep. Hey Powder, come here. And what kind of dog is she? She is a cockapoo. Cockapoo, never heard of that. Cocker Spaniel and Poodle. I hear you. It's our baby. Pretty. Thanks. Can you show at the front door? So he's, you've got water storage outside. you got storage for your tall things mm -hmm. here, ammo box. Yeah, we had the big tent on the back. It's a 12 by 8. Mm -hmm. I got out of my mom's garage. It's been in there for like 26 years, and it still is good. And use it time to time? Use it from time to time, yeah. Got the outside gas grill. Mm -hmm. So, if uh, if you have a little time and imagination, somewhat handy, you two can be full timing and, and living out here, living the life for five hundred dollars. Very impressive. Very neat. Very neat. Let me ask you something. People always want to know, what did you do wrong? What did you do right? And what's the best part of uh, full timing out here that you found? What we did wrong was we didn't do it sooner. <laughs> Agreed. What we did right was we didn't listen to what everybody was telling us. Oh, you're going to go live in a box. You got to be crazy. You got to sit at home. Your health. What if you got to go to the doctor? That's all fine and dandy, but guess what? We feel healthier, and we're, we're not sitting in front of the TV looking at all the doom and gloom. 
we're out here seeing beautiful sights and a lot of times it don't hardly cost nothing to be in a, a nice place. This is five dollars a night by the way. We're two fifty. We can have the America the Beautiful pad. Ta da. <laughs> I've got one and I've spent five dollars I forgot to use mine. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get out here and for little or nothing you can find places. Sometimes you gotta look for them, sometimes they're not what you expect. But when you do find one that's nice, it makes up for the other ones that are a little bit rougher around the edges. Uh, let's see, you asked me what we did. What, what's, the, what's the very, what's your most favorite thing? You've been out here full time, you're, you're, doing, you're doing what you set out to do. What's the very best part so far? When it rains, I get to cuddle up next to her in the back of the sleeper. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> it's like you had the questions beforehand. Uh -huh. This guy's slick. The, um, what, what do I like, what do, you, what do we like the best? Yeah. It seems like it makes you feel a little younger when you get out and run around and do something. Every once in a while I do walk past a mirror and realize how old I am, but for the most part you forget and you're out here thinking, oh, this is cool when you do something, you go for a walk and you huff and puff, you gotta sit down, but for the most part, just feeling better all the way around. You're happy. And you're healthier. Exactly. Yes, we are very happy. Well, of awesome. course, she's got to be happy. I'm a good-looking guy. <laughs> I think you're both lucky. Thank you. All right. Well, that was uh, the tour of the $500 camper. We got to meet John and Nancy here. Great people. And, boy, I, I really enjoyed having them here for Campsite Neighbors. Uh, very much enjoyed looking at the rig. Thank you very much for showing YouTube your handiwork. Good Thank job. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, hope everybody enjoyed the video. I sure enjoyed making it. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay tuned for more tours and more travels with uh, Camper Van Kevin and the Wolf Pack. See you again soon. Bye-bye.